Hey, this is Jeff at Diversified Energy. Here we are at Uptown House, New Orleans. And we were called here. The homeowner wanted to ask us about, should my spray foam job look like this? He sent us some pictures and I was like, oh my God, this looks like crap. So we're here to give him a bid and a proposal, see how we can go ahead and fix it for him. So let's go ahead on upstairs and take a look at his attic. I love it when we're correcting our competition's work, or if that's what you want to call a competition. What's great about this is we're getting paid to fix this, and it's a shame because that means a homeowner is paying twice to do something right. So what are we looking at? Why is this wrong? You're supposed to have a nice, even five and a half, six inches covering one nice, even layer all the way over. We'll show you some of our work. All of these rafters are not supposed to be showing. And it's like that throughout the whole roof line, obviously. The primary reason the spray foam and attic is really to create an encapsulated, semi-conditioned, dry area. And that is what this spray foam contractor, that's what he didn't do whatsoever. So as we're looking around, I can see open spaces going all the way around. It looks like what they did is spray foamed right to another insulation product that was there, cellulose fiberglass, something just old dilapidated insulation. Very common for a lot of spray foam contractors to do that. Instead of taking the time to scoop it out, vacuum it out, whatever the case should be, they just spray right down to it and that foam is supposed to touch that top plate going all the way around, but instead it doesn't and it touches the insulation. And then the insulation that is there is certainly not an air barrier. So now you have a breach in the air and vapor barrier all the way around the roof line. Uh, what does that lead to? What's wrong with that? Ductwork sweating, very humid in the attic, um, very warm still. At that point, you're not getting anything you're expected to get out of a spray. You basically just wasted your money and created a liability issue. Because now, if we don't look at the ductwork, and if you don't start drawing up the ductwork by cor correcting the problem, at that point, you're having a lot more issues and a lot more cost to fix something. This is when you get in lawsuit territory, things like that. So we're here to fix our competitors' work. 